with this type of research, you have to say it's uh, a correlation. You can't, you can't say causation. I mean, Tulane University researchers found an increase of so-called food insecurity, or the lack of access to fresh food, is directly related to an increase in gun violence and injuries. Here in Cincinnati, we've been really struggling with an increase in youth violence. Those researchers interviewed more than 3,000 gunshot victims in the New Orleans area. They also relied on federal data the CDC collected after the lifting of a congressional ban on research on gun violence as a health issue. So I'm curious on the impact of food insecurity by, by age group and if that... Cincinnati Council's Public Safety Committee asked one of the authors to present the study here Tuesday, specifically Councilmember Anna Alby, who's made curbing gun violence her top priority. Food security and providing food to community can be a solution to help address violence. The study indicates 14 percent of Cincinnati residents suffer from food insecurity. The rate for children is almost 19 percent. In fact, Cincinnati had one of the highest rates of childhood poverty in the country at one point. Free Store Food Bank's Kurt Reiber says one in four kids are food insecure for the entire 20 county service area. I'm not ready to draw a correlation between gun violence and food insecurity at this point in time, but I can see where there, the threads could link together where families uh, uh, in desperate times, you know, look out for desperate, you know, desperate measures. And that's something that I think we all want to avoid. The city is also in talks with Kroger to create a new system to deliver fresh food in areas that don't have access to a grocery store and might be seeing high rates of violence. The details on that will be coming out when the budget is released soon. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.